Welcome back to the second tutorial in our beginner Blender series. Today we are modeling a SIM card adapter. I'm starting with the inner cutout. The adapter is basically flat, so a plane is perfect. Just move the points so they line up with the reference image. To keep things simple, I'll run all four corners first and come back to the chamfered one later. Use Ctrl Shift B to bevel the vertices. The bevel looks a bit off. Just hit Ctrl A and apply rotation and scale. Then bevel again and wheel up to add segments. I'm using two here. A to pick all, E to extrude, then S to scale outward. If I add a subdivision surface modifier now, the corners will collapse and the straight edges get pulled out of shape. Even adding support edge loops all around won't fix it. This is a common mistake for beginners, so I think it's worth showing here. Undo that and let's try another way. I'll extrude these two edges right, flatten them on the x-axis. Same here, bevel it, and we end up with three verts. Then I'll cut out from each of the outer verts, one horizontal, one vertical. That gives us a clean quarter circle here. And this time the shape actually holds up after subdivision. Next, I'll cut across the diagonal and dissolve these two sides. That helps redirect the edge flow and makes the topology way cleaner. Now that this part is done, let's mirror it across the X and Z axis. Just make sure the origin is in the middle. I'm using set origin to 3D cursor. Then run symmetrize. First, x to minus x. Then minus c to z. And we've got our full base shape done. Now let's clean up the mesh and add some details. I use the knife and loop cut tools to add some horizontal and vertical cuts just to balance out the quads and keep things looking clean. Turn on auto merge and slide away any extra verts to clean things up. For this area, I'm thinking of simplifying the topology first by getting rid of some unnecessary points. The shape's ready, so let's give it some thickness. You can use a solidify modifier but for something this simple, a quick extrude is easier. Next, I'm adding a bevel modifier, which usually goes hand-in-hand -hand with sub-D. Before that, 
I need to select the sharp edges. The default 30 degrees selects too many edges. And 60 degrees misses some important ones. So I'll add these missing edges manually and set their bevel weight to 1. Now I'll add a bevel modifier, place it above the sub D, set segments to 2, and switch the method to weight. The default bevel amount is a bit chunky, edges look blurry and weak. Hold shift while you drag to get smoother control and nail it just right. The corner here looks a bit off. I'll switch the miter outer to arc to clean it up. Almost done. I'll shade smooth. Looking nice so far. That's it for today. If this helps you get a hand of Blender, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.